Hi, I'm Maithili and welcome to India Food Network. I love cooking and cooking and baking has always been a passion of mine. I love hosting parties and dinners and evening soirees. And the one thing that I've noticed is that people and my guests tend to eat more of appetizers and hors d'oeuvres more than the entree. So this recipe that I'm doing today is one such delectable appetizer or hors d'oeuvre. They are my baby pizzas with a twist or the fried pizzettes. So to know more about these fried pizzettes, please stay tuned with me on India Food Network. So to make these fried pizzettes, first we have to actually make the pizza dough. But this is not any ordinary pizza dough. This is the herbed pizza dough. So that really gets all the flavors in these baby pizzas. So for that we need one and a half cup of all-purpose flour or some bread flour. Then we have half a cup of warm water. We have one teaspoon of dry active yeast. We have two teaspoons of olive oil. We have one teaspoon of honey. We have one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. We have one teaspoon of red chili flakes. We have about one and a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. We have one fourth cup of marinara sauce. The, the recipe for this you can get at my playlist. Some salt and pepper to taste and some sliced olives to top them. So let's start by making the dough first. So to make the dough, first I'm going to begin by activating the yeast in the warm water. Now at this point, the water has to be warm, otherwise the yeast will not get activated. So what I did was I just took half a cup of water in a measuring jar and just put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. So that gives me the perfect temperature of 100 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So here's my warm water and I'm going to add one teaspoon of the dry active yeast. Quickly mix it, give it a quick whisk here. Now the reason we start doing this first because we need the yeast to rest and foam a bit. So that's when we know that it is active and our dough is going to rise. Now another tip here is I'm going to add a sweetening agent to the yeast. This only helps the yeast to rise faster and quicker. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of good honey and give it a quick whisk again so that the yeast and the water and the honey really mix well. So now we are going to let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's prepare the flour for the dough. So here I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Bread flour works fantastic for this. So if you have some on hand, please do use that. So to this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a teaspoon of red chili flakes and two teaspoons of salt. So just give it a quick mix. So our herb flour is ready. Now once this rises, we are going to add all this yeast mixture into this, uh, in the, into this flour so that we get a nice dough. So after 10 to 15 minutes, my yeast has formed a little bit. So now I'm going to create a well in the herb flour that I had and just pour all this nice yeast mixture into the center and basically get everything together and make it into a nice dough. So I'm going to go in circular motions like this and just get it all together. So now my dough has slightly come together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plop this on a clean surface and just give it a good knead for about five to six minutes. So what I'm going to do is with the palm of my hands, I'm going to Press and stretch this dough and fold it. So stretch and fold, stretch and fold. And keep doing it till, the, till you get a nice and soft texture on top. Okay, so now my dough is ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in a well-oiled bowl here. So just give it a quick 
rub on the sides so that it doesn't stick to the sides. And I'm going to place my dough in this well-oiled bowl. So now cover this with a cling film or a nice towel and place it in a warm area for a good 3-4 to four hours so it almost doubles in size. So that's when the bread and the gluten and everything has been worked in the flour. So now we're going to keep this in an oven or a kitchen cabinet for a good 3-4 to four hours to rise in size. So after 3 hours or so, your dough is pretty much going to look like this. So it's really risen almost 3 times of what we had made. So I'm just going to remove the cling film now and give it a good punch. See the air that it has taken after it's been resting, it's all thanks to the yeast. So just get this together and because the dough is so pliable, you can see these pizza guys you know, rolling it and it's really fun to watch them. So now I'm going to roll out some dough, so just put some flour. In the meantime, I'm going to heat some oil to fry the pizzettes. So I've heated the oil to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So just sprinkle some flour. We're going to take some dough. Just roll it in some flour so it does not stick to the base. And now I'm going to give it a quick roll. So we have to roll it to about a quarter of an inch. And you can keep on adding flour because it's a really sticky dough. So it just might stick to your base. And stretch it. Okay. So here I have a really handy tip. You can use your little cookie cutters that we have. So what you're going to do is just going to cut out little circles from your regular cookie dough okay, and just place it here. So we are going to fry these babies few at a time till they are nice and golden brown on both sides. You see how they are puffing up? They are like little balloons. It's thanks to all the fantastic dough that we made ahead. So we are just going to flip them, make sure that they, they are golden on both sides. So now some of them are ready, so we are just going to drain them on some paper towel here. Lovely. Just drain off all the excess oil that you have. I'm going to show you how to place them before you serve. So I'm just going to put them on my platter here. And to give it that whole pizza experience, I am going to put some marna sauce or pizza sauce, whichever sauce you have handy, on top of each. Just a little bit. So it's a pretty much pizza in a bite. I'm going to top it with some Parmesan cheese, really good palm. And to give that really Italian effect, I'm going to top it with a sliced olive. So my very fashionable and very easy baby pizzettes or fried pizzettes are absolutely ready. And don't forget to subscribe on India Food Network. So until next time, this is Maithili signing off. Take care. Bye.